In this chapter, we'll see how to create an application in Ember.js and what exactly is an application in Ember.js. So every Ember.js application has one instance of Ember.application object. And this object is usually defined inside a file called app.js. And if you're creating your application using Ember CLI, this will be something which is created by default for you. But here we'll see how to create an Ember application by making use of Ember.application object. So we'll head over to our code sample and here in our app.js file, you'll notice that we have this instance created where app equals ember.application.create and then we have got some helpers here, log transitions which basically logs out all the steps that the Ember application is taking and there you can see it in the console of a browser. So whenever we create an application, it basically does a couple of things for us. That is, it adds event listeners to the document and it is responsible for delegating events to your views and it is also responsible for rendering the application template. Behind the scenes, it automatically creates a router and begins routing, choosing which template and model to display based on the current URL. We'll be seeing all these things in action in coming lectures. So here, this is the script tag that we have to have in our application and uh, if you're creating the application using Ember CLI and with version 1.12, this step is not required. But the earlier versions of Ember.js used to have this kind of structure and coding pattern where you have to specify the application template and inside that you used to mention things. We'll be going to that step as well. But before that, we have to understand how things used to work in earlier versions of Ember JS. So here what we are trying to do is we have created our application by making use of ember.application.create. Now once that's created, we are trying to create a template called application by giving it a data template name. And inside that you'll see that we are saying hello first and last name. These are inside curly brackets and they are called expressions in Ember JS. And these expressions are defined inside controller. Now Ember.js creates this application controller behind the scene itself. But if you want to further customize it, you can do that by extending that controller. So here we are extending our application controller by making use of ember.controller.extend. And then we have the first and last name over here defined as properties. And that is what we are accessing inside the application template. So let's run this in browser and see it in action. Here you can see that I have Skill Bakery in Studio as first and last name and in index.html. Inside our application template, we are making use of this property, first name and last name, which is coming from application controller. So that is what you're seeing over here. Hello, Skill Bakery Studio. We'll be discussing more on templates in the next lecture.